Um, same with OJ. So we tried to get OJ Simpson on the show, and they were like, hey, you can't talk about the murders. And I was like, well, uh, that's, you know, that's what he's most famous for. He should be on the golf show, yeah. man. Yeah, he could be. He yeah. could talk about uh, live golf. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's literally yeah, yeah, yeah. all he can talk about now. So no no lie. We're, we're actually in the process of trying to get him on a fantasy football show right now because he's really oh. good at fantasy football. Oh, nice. And, and I said to— Is he murder or what? Yeah, well, here's the thing. So, yeah, they were, I, I said to the go-between person who was trying to set it up, I said— I obviously have to ask the question, right? But I'll wait till the end if you want. I'm sh- he'll walk off at that point, yeah, but yeah. it'd be really funny. I'd be like, oh man, that was great. We do a full three to four sure. hour fantasy draft, killing the picks. God damn it, man. You left two there. You just, you just left two bodies behind. The whole thing, right? Mm-hmm. I, would, I would just slyly just kind of put it in very quick, very fast. Mm-hmm. And then at the end, I'd be like, well, it's a great draft. Let's go through. You got Pat Mahomes, a quarterback. Got uh, Buffalo Bills defense. Hey, did you murder two people? Boom. And then walk off. Yeah. Cut to black. His cut to black. Yeah. It could be the end of my life. Right. You said you wouldn't be in the room for it. No. (laughs) No, no, no. She's his type. Yeah. They're very close. All blonde women. Yeah. Nicole Brown and and Jesse, two hot ass blondes. Yeah. Come on, dude. But come on. I just think in general, again, I wouldn't be in the room with Johnny Depp either. They just like very intimidating. Why Johnny? Uh, Come he, on, he didn't do anything. I, no, no, I just couldn't oh. get caught in a any kind of conversation. Why? It would be very uncomfortable. <laughs> he's an unco- he's he lives in people that like live in uncomfortable like he loves an uncomfortable silence, a long hug, a like sure. Do you know what I mean? Like sure. people that are okay with awkwardness and just like swimming around in it. I can't be around that. I, I can't Because I'm going to want to just make a joke or something <sighs> or whatever, and it doesn't work out. Sincere people and me don't, we don't mesh. Um, I don't and like now, OJ, pe- I'm scared for my life. Sure. I don't like people who think about things too long, and then it takes them a while to respond, where I'm just like, God damn it, I feel comfortable. I, like, there was one meeting I had recently like that where it was just – Every question was like a six or seven second second gap, and I'm like, "Fuck! What do I do here in between this?" Like, sucked. I hate it. There's people that are socially um, selfish. Do you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I, like for example, when I walk in a room, like I would never like be quiet, be weird. There's a bunch of people there. Like I'm gonna make sure that. Everyone's like, like we're good, yeah. good, we're having fun, we're on the same page, yeah. how is everyone? People that are socially s- selfish and that can like walk into a room and be like, hey, without be- like feeling bad about that mm-hmm. or, or letting that be awkward is um, uh, crazy to me. Sure. And I think that Johnny Depp could do that, right? He would ask like questions that didn't have any, you know, that didn't go anywhere and it's just very... It's all, he's fine with it. Yeah. I got a weird one for you. I don't, I've never asked you this. And we've, we've done almost 800 episodes. Um, you did a thing for Benicio Del Toro. Yes. And you guys went to dinner. Still do. Yeah. And you guys went to dinner. How many people were I there? I was at a dinner that he was at at the other side of the table. Okay. Yeah. How many people? Eight? Um, eight to 10, probably. All in right. and out. What was that like? Was he awkward? He socially. He wasn't awkward. He's there's a difference between like awkward and just like the quiet. Like I think Leonardo DiCaprio is probably like that too, where they're they're just quiet and like yeah, he's quiet. I, I he's you know quiet. Uh-huh. you would have to. He's not. They're not assuming that you know who they are, and maybe you do. And it's oh, people he, that are that famous. There's always kind of a like, do you know me? Um, do you not? Yeah. I, I don't know. Like whatever, I don't know. Can I? I just assume that he, the real Benicio del Toro, is his character from The Usual Suspects, and everything else. <laughs> is... um, Give me the keys, you fucking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the phone. Like that's uh, who I think he is in real life. Kind of, but like definitely that quiet, but not like cooler. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Definitely yeah. cooler than that, but quiet, and then only talk to the hot ass chicks that came up. So ah, there I it is. was not one of there those, right? Like I was just like, really? Oh my god, no. Because there's a type that has no shame, a la you. 
But like, there's the type yeah. that has no yeah. shame that can go up and just be like, "Hey, what's up?" And then it takes away from him. Yeah. This idea of like, do does she know me? Like, they go up and just say, so, "Oh my god, I love you." Right. It's a, to to uh, piggyback off a TikTok trend here. She's a ten, but you have to try. Right. Yeah. So yeah. what is she now? Yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. Right. Yeah. She's yeah. a ten, but she has twenty cats. Right. Yeah. Like, that's a whatever. <laughs> yeah. So in that way, yeah, like he doesn't he doesn't have to. So why would he? talk to me when there's going to be two hot ass chicks or the ones that are sitting next to him are just going to fawn all over him. Mm -hmm. Same with Leonardo DiCaprio. Like they don't have to walk across the room ever right. in their entire lives. Right. Um, but what Benicio doesn't realize, cause he was hot, hot at the time. What he does not realize is that I would take him from fear and loathing in a <laughs> second. That is my Benicio. So, you know, maybe down the line. Yeah. It could work out. Sure. Sure, sure. You know? It's all he possible. He wants to just, like, drink, eat pizza, do drugs, which I think he does. Yeah. And have someone that's, like, super into that. Uh -huh. I might be the hot girl at the end of the table that he walks over to. I don't know. You're playing the long game. You're like a guy, you're like a guy who, oh. like, didn't fuck in high school, but he's 30, like... Eight and yeah. like the divorced women are all over yeah. him because yeah, yeah, he's yeah. like because he not bought a, piece a house of shit. and yeah, he yeah, like yeah, yeah, you yeah. know what I mean. He got his life together slowly so sure. that when they were down and out, he was yeah there to uh, oh yeah I own a house. You know what I mean that kind of thing. Bob just described himself and kind of yeah, a little bit yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah 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 but um yeah DiCaprio nice and quiet uh, he was best friends with Tobey Maguire Tobey Maguire was at dinner. He just kept talking about pussy and getting girls in a hot tub the whole time. And you were just like, eh. Didn't mm. really fit, you know? Who? Tobey Maguire. Yeah, because, because he has to. Yeah, but also his voice. Like, the way he talks about it, even though he has probably fucked, like, a thousand girls. Yeah. It, it, there's no way it sounds real. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, oh. I ate her pussy so hard. Right, that's yeah. exactly what it is. Yeah. yeah, and it's like, I, I, I know because you're Spider-Man, you probably did, but like, <laughs> none of what you're saying sounds real. Right. Yeah, uh, and 